Hey everyone, it's Zara and I am back today with my July monthly view spread. So today I am using a kit from Dots and Dash Co. And it's just a two page kit so it's pretty basic. Um, just has the top um, pieces to go up here. And then it has a couple of washi strips. There is going to be two days that aren't covered up because it would only cover up um, these aren't connected, it's like a three and a one, but there are six days I need to cover up, and so I might pull in some deco. I have a kit that I'll show you in a second that I'm going to pull in some stuff from as well. Then I have just like the headers, functional icons, the date dots, a couple today boxes, paydays, etc. So, the other kit that I was going to... Um, maybe pull some things from, maybe some deco to put, cover up here, and then some boxes probably to put in my goals section, is from Sweet Cheeky Designs, and this is her, um, like, 4th of July Owls kit. I don't know if that's the exact name, but it's something to that effect. Um, and basically this one is just um, kind of 4th of July themed, um, and then it has a bunch of this owl deco, firework deco, deco which I think would be really pretty in there. Um, and then I do have some headers, but I have a ton of headers just to begin with in the kit. Um, but I feel like I'm probably going to try to pull in these. Um, just because these do come with the full checklists and the check flags. And I don't usually spread this type of a kit across two weeks. Um, because there's not enough like half boxes and other boxes for me to really do that. So anyways, let's just get started. Um, I'm going to try to do this just a little bit differently because I've been trying to figure out kind of what to do with, um, my plan with me's and try to make them not so obscenely long. So I think to kind of shorten it up, I'm going to like turn off my camera, um, put down a couple things and then come back and then kind of plan out the individual days. So what I'm going to do, and I'll come and I'll explain it as well after I come back is just kind of put down the main, uh, I don't know if you call them washi strips, um, but kind of the covers, um, these things. Um, and then I'll probably put down um, these today boxes just because I can't put down the date dots until I put these down. And I don't know exactly what day I'll put them down for, but um, just stick them on day. Put down the date dots and then I might do my sidebar as well. Just because I think that's kind of the most boring part of the plan with me and it takes a while to do. so. Um, I will do that and I will be right back. Okay, so here's how everything is looking so far. I ended up just sticking in um, a little piece of deco just because the boxes didn't go all the way to the end. Um, also, another note is that these boxes, the whole sidebar is just a tad wider than the normal boxes of the Erin Conrad. And so I just centered them, but there's just a hair of space in between. In between like the box and the headers are the are the full size um, so that's just one thing to note. I also put in some little deco here to block out the rest of the days that were not in July or yeah not in July um, so anyways so let's just get started on my plans for the month um, so first of all I'm gonna just stick down my paydays and um, because I get paid on Fridays I have four paydays and I'll just stick them in before I forget and I usually just stick them up in this little corner. I do like how these are blue in comparison to the red date dots, just because I think it, it looks nice and there's not too much, you know, red in one area. Granted, I mean, with only three colors or three main colors, you're going to end up with like a lot of red and blue and it'll be a lot no matter what. Um, oh, let me also just put in my birthdays really quick, too. So I have a birthday on the 9th and on the 26th, if I can get it off. And so it's perfect because I only have two birthday stickers, but I don't mark down too, too many birthdays in my planner, um, just because, I don't know, I just, I only mark down for certain people and I have a ton of like extended family, um, so I don't usually mark like all of their birthdays. It's usually just my like closest family that I mark or closest friends. So then on the first, 
we are going to be going to brew fast they're going to be doing like a little i don't know like a beer festival kind of a thing um and so i'm going to put that there um it's also the farmer's market on this day but i kind of feel like if we're going to brew fest we're probably not gonna go to farmer's market or or whatnot so i'm not gonna market this saturday but i probably will for the other ones um and then on t the second, we have Phantom of the Opera, and I have, I didn't really know what to use to mark Phantom of the Opera because it's a, it's a play, and I have like movie stickers and stuff. I have these, these are from Sassy Sticker Co., and I actually, I actually really hate the size of these. Um, they're movie marquees, and I thought they were going to be like big movie marquees, and I thought, oh, you know, it'll be okay, because even if they're red... Um, you know, they'll be big enough. They're like itty bitty. They're like the size of my payday stickers. And so you can't really put like anything in them functionally. And they look too small. They look like, I don't know, maybe they'd be good in like a personal planner or something like that. But I figured I'm like, since I'm probably not going to use them too much in my actual Erin Condren, um, I might put it here. It'll still look a little bit sad, but, um, I figure I can write like phantom or like poa or something like phantom of the up or p o o poo oh gosh that's not very good um but i figured i could abbreviate phantom of the opera in some way um and just make it you know fit in here um just because i feel like there's not a really good sticker that i have and that was about the best i had um which still wasn't good but, you know, and then I also might just put this little me time sticker just because Phantom of the Opera is like my ultimate me time, even though I'm going with friends. Um, so then after that, um, oh, I also on Saturday have um, a bill due, it's rent. And so I have these from Planner Frenzy and I'm just going to use the red and I'm just going to mark that kind of up there. Um, then on, let's see, um, this whole week, there's a sale going on, um, they're doing the Love is Love sale, and, um, Prickle Pear Studios in it, and I wanted to mark it somehow, but these days are really kind of cluttered, and so I don't think I'll end up marking it, maybe I'll just put it in, like, my sidebar, just because I want to mark it, know that it's going on kind of a thing. Um, then on 4th of July, I think I'll probably just write down like what time fireworks are, what time the parade is. Um, and then I think I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have to work that day, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'll just leave that open. But that's why I used one of these boxes is because I knew that I'd have a lot going on that day. Then the weekend of the 7th to the 9th, there is another sale going on. This is the... Um, E-P-I-C sale, epic sale, um, and I have a couple of shops that I really love that are in it this month, and so I just figured, um, I'd mark it, and then, like, probably do it. I have this one from Once More Love, and it says sale, yes, and I figured that one would be a good one to use, because it has the red, um, and then I'm just going to maybe stick it in on the 7th, and then kind of, like, denote that it goes through the next couple days. This one only comes with like one little washi strip for like a vacation and so I already have plans for that one otherwise I would use something like that. Um, and then on the 13th we have a barbecue um, that we are going to so I have these from Planner Frenzy again and I'm trying to decide what color I want to use for it. And um, I kind of want to use this dark blue, um, since I haven't don't have a ton of blue yet in this spread. And then I'll just kind of mark in on the side that we have a barbecue. Then on the 14th, they have an art walk. Um, and I didn't really have a good icon for it. I'm just kind of looking at this sheet. And there's nothing too um, exciting. I guess I'll just use... Maybe this, like, clinking glasses. It's not really, um, 
the perfect icon, but I also don't really have any like art icons. Um, I know Coffee Monsters Co. has some really cute like, mo um, not Munch Kids, Modis that have like the beret and the palette and stuff, but I do not own those. Um, then I don't really have a ton going on like the next couple of weeks until the 27th. And on the 27th, um, one of my best friends is coming into town. Um, and so for that, I have this sheet from Once More With Love. And I'm going to use, um, it's kind of, I think it's like one of her original Munchkin stickers. Um, and it's kind of like a boy and a girl with like a little heart. Um, I don't have any best friend Munchkins. Um, though I know she makes them. And so I was just going to use this even though like she's a girl, not a boy coming to visit me. Um, and just mark it in here that she's coming and that I'm super duper excited about it. And, um, then I was also going to pull in this little strip as well, just to kind of layer behind it and trying to layer it. So it just kind of like overlaps this last dot. So we'll see how good my like eyeballing is. Honestly, it was not too bad. Um, and then she is here until the 30th, and I kind of hate how small these little boxes are because I can't really write anything in there like, oh, you know, taking her to the airport or anything like that. Um, so that I'll just have to do, um, is just leaving it like that and then I'll know that I'm Taking, to her, taking her to the airport that day, um, but I think she's coming Friday, she might be on, or Thursday, and then I think um, we'll get like two full days and then most of Sunday together, so that should be really good. And then those are all of my um, plans that are kind of set in stone, more or less. Um, I also wanted to mark down my videos, or at least, you know, when I'm hoping to get videos done. So I have these planners, they're from the Paperly Boutique. And I'm just going to kind of stick them in. I'm trying to think of what I have. Like I said, these kits are not the most full kits. And so I don't really have a ton of stickers. This is my one that I, I spilled water on. Um, I was looking at some of my stickers the other day and I spilled water on some other stickers. And that's the only bad thing about getting matte stickers. Um, but I, <laughs> I liked the sticker and I figure I don't look at my monthly a lot. So I was just going to use it. Um, and then the reds don't really match, so I might just kind of do blues, but I wanted them on Mondays and Wednesdays, but maybe I'll just put them on Mondays, um, but I also don't want to use up all my blues, so, oh, it's just a little bit of a dilemma. Maybe I will just pull in the red, even though it's not the exact same, and just kind of alternate some of these. I need to get more like planning stickers and um and whatnot so then I will maybe just mark my main plan with me and just call it good one other thing I was thinking of doing is pulling in these little asterisks and just putting it next to it um just as like a little extra reminder that I should do it. Um, but ideally I will have videos on Mondays and Wednesdays, but I don't really want to use all of these stickers and run out. Um, because I'll still need some for like my main playing with me and stuff like that. Okay, so there's that. And then let's see, what else was I going to mark? I was going to mark um, farmer's market for these days, I don't know if I'm going to go to it, but it doesn't hurt to mark it in. Maybe I will mark it. Well, maybe I will mark it on Saturday, even though I'm not sure that we go, um, since it's Brewfest the same day. Um, but I have four flags and I don't think I'll be able to fit a flag in here. So why not? I'll probably still mark it because I don't know if, um, Betsy will want to go to farmer's market or not but kind of like a why not just put it in and then if we go great if we don't 
I mean, that's what a lot of my monthly is for, is just kind of things that I might be doing. Um, not necessarily things that I, I have to do. And then I was also going to pull in these. These are from Stardust Stickers. Um, and I saw she was, like, in the running, um, for, um, being in the PBC sale. So I voted for her, because... I think she really has some great stickers. And I'm not going to write in Farmer's Market. I think I'm just going to, like, put the little, like, blueberry or fruit or, you know, whatever I have for the icon in. And I feel like that will denote it enough. Um, hopefully. And then on Saturday, then I will just mark it in down here. And then, like I said, if we go, we go. If we don't, we don't. You know, not a big deal. Okay, and then other than that, we have, um, on this day, they're doing, um, it's like the town festival, more or less, is how I would describe it, and so I think I'm just going to write it in. I don't think I'm going to put any icons in, um, because I'm not entirely sure if we're going to go to it or not. It's on both these days, so I'm just going to leave it out, and I'm just going to stick it in the this month part. I'm just trying to figure out ways to be more functional in my monthly and there's another like oh how many concert series are there there's like four concert series in my town so it's like um you know on Wednesdays it's this concert series and then on Sundays it's this concert series and so instead of marking it down like four different days a week that there could be a concert going on I was gonna just put it in the sidebar and just say like Thursdays you know this type of concert um, and that's how I was going to do that. So, I think that is pretty much what I've got. I'm trying to look at this and see if there's anything else that I really need. I don't have any appointments that I can think of right now. Um, I do have another bill due. Let's see, I probably have two bill dues that I could stick in. Um, and the only thing I don't like about these is, um, it's kind of like a weird header sticker, but... Um, you know, where do you put it or what do you say? Um, so I kind of have just been writing it under it, but, um, I don't know. This isn't my favorite month to cut. I like it. I had a good time with it for, like, the last six months or whatnot that I've been planning with it, but I'm also, like, super duper excited to use a different kit, um, for the next month, just... For something different um and then i'm going to use this red one if i can kind of get it off for i think it's the 22nd and then i have another bill due um but yeah so other than that i think that is everything um so i'm gonna fill this out and then i will be right back to show you just kind of how it all looks okay so here is the spread all filled out i added in just a couple little pieces of deco i just realized that they're all in the same row but that was just where it looked empty when i was trying to put it in so not um intentional so i used up this entire sheet this was just like the top and bottom covers the washi um the little vacation strip and then just a couple of the flags and asterisks and then i still have most of uh, the headers the one thing about these kits is she gives so many headers, and so I just don't feel like I use them for everything. Um, I would rather them be like half boxes or quarter boxes or something like that. Um, you know, and same thing with the appointment labels is I wish they were a little bit plainer just so um, I could have used them for something else instead of it having to be an appointment because that just makes me think of something businessy. Um, but anyways, um, I'm going to just put in this little heart sticker. I'm so excited for my best Well one of my best friends to come visit and then I just have a couple other little icons um oh and I also added in just this little flight sticker from the kit just because I wanted to mark down what time her flight left um but yeah so anyways this is kind of how July looks and I will just see you guys in my next video bye